Hey you guys, okay I'm back. I got the case on and my phone holder works a lot better. Um, so I wanted to talk about living in my car cause I kinda, you know, I did it and then I kinda cut it off. Um, so just to reiterate, um, space blanket is a no-go. Um, if it's a cheap thin one, maybe if it's a thick one it would work a lot better. Um, but I do think the thin one would work good for the rain or the heat, for sure. Um, it did keep me, you know, somewhat insulated, but not a whole lot. Um, the camping went really well, and overall, sleeping in my car, I'm totally down for it. Um, it's just right now I'm waiting for the right opportunity. You know? So, we'll see. I try to keep my car at no more than, no less than half the tank so I can be ready for anything. Um, and yeah, so that's the reality I would like. And now, I feel like I'm waiting to get there. Okay, now I'm going to switch topics. It kind of ties into this, but I'm going to start talking about parallel universes and jumping dimensions. So, the more that I'm looking into parallel dimensions and the math behind it, the more that I realize I've been looking at myself in other dimensions and other parallel universes right so for example last night I was looking at E8 it's a mathematical um, and I'm oversimplifying but it's like a mathematical shape right and it's supposed to depict space or a dimension in 8D, right? So, I hope that made sense. E8 basically is, we have a model, it's a 2D version, but it represents the 8D reality, right? So everything that goes on in our 3D space, it's a point, it's like circles, and in our 3D world, we're just one point on one of the circles, but the 3D makes up the 8D, if that makes sense. So like we're all connected. So there was that. And so I went to sleep holding a pillow, right? And then next thing I know, I like wake up and I'm holding the pillow, but my glasses in my hand. And I was thinking, oh, I must be in another dimension because I know I put my glasses on the stand. <clears throat> and then, long story short, I woke back up in this dimension. So I don't really know why I went to that one or what happened, but I just know that I went there and now I'm here. Also, I've been seeing spirits a lot more lately. Like, I'll see them walk up. I'll see them standing there. I'll see them, like, maybe just their feet or just the head. Not clear, but like the outline of the head. Shut up, Greg. I know you're going to comment on my egg head. Um, and yeah, honestly... I'm excited. It's about time. Um, I can't tell if they're demons or angels or just regular human spirits or not, but it's all good. What else? The life I want to live, we're going to have to jump a lot of dimensions for that, and I'm okay with that. Right now, I've been getting signs to not hold on to anything. Just let it, everything flow. 
And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just go with the flow because there's really no need to hold on to anything, especially since I know that what I want, like I know like if I hold on to whatever dimension I'm in, it's not what I want. So there's no point, if that makes sense. I wish I could explain this stuff better, but yeah, I know that there's parallel universes and other dimensions because I see them, not fully, and I've had my higher self come from a higher dimension than the third one. I've had them come to me, I've had myself come to me in 3D from the past and the future, but then I've also had myself come in a higher dimension. That I couldn't comprehend at all. I just heard the voice and I could feel that that was me, but in another dimension, but it was just like, in terms of seeing myself, I haven't saw myself, but I can feel my presence. And I know it's not a demon, um, because demons can only trick you for so long if you pay attention. If you don't pay attention, they can keep it up for a while, but ultimately you'll figure out that, hey, this isn't right. And so that's how you know. Just like when somebody's lying to you on the street, like, it sounds good, but if you're really paying attention, it's like, wait, that doesn't add up. Or the truth always comes out. That That's really what I go by too. Are you telling the truth? And if you aren't, the truth comes out. And that's, that's good. So there's really no need to be worried about that. Um, yeah. I can imagine other dimensions, but I can't see what they look like, if that makes sense. But that's okay. I know it can be done. I know we could take our physical body and jump up to other higher dimensions. How and why, I don't know, but it has to deal with um, E8 for sure, because we're all connected, right? It just seems like you can't have the higher dimensions without the lower dimensions. And if we all contain information from the higher dimensions, then you should be able to essentially jump up to the higher one and retain your lower body. That, that's just my blurb for today. If you guys know about math, or dimensions or if you want to make a comment please comment down below if you have any links on quantum physics or math or anything related to technology please link it down below um, yeah today's video is gonna be short and you guys have a good day